touch. Neither player really hit the height. 170, sir. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that if MVG gets out the blocks, Gezi might be up against it. The way that he was playing this afternoon against Jermaine says to me that Michael's in a pretty relaxed mood. 58. Hasn't been troubled yet. And he'll have plenty of energy in the tank. Whereas the game that Gezi Price was involved in earlier with Ratajski, it, uh, it was painstaking to say the least. He, he didn't play his best, but got enough opportunities to get the job done. 81. Going to Iguan, 150. The last start has just allowed Price a little bit more breathing space. Not that he needs it. Double 19. 120. Might be Iguan, 120. Well, this has been the number of the weekend so far, this 127. Yeah. Well, it is again. We saw it change again for Rob Cross earlier on, didn't we? He had four ton plus outs in a brilliant comeback win against Johnny Clayton, but it was the 127 that changed the game for Rob Cross. What is it about 127s on the ball against the Welsh lads today? They've been huge. And MVG knows that he has an undefeated record against Gezi Price. And in order to protect that, the best way he can approach this game is to get out of the blocks. And he's, he's never been a slow starter, Michael. He's always done well at the start, but he was always renowned, Chris, when they used to have a break in Premier League games. He was always great Six. when he came back from the break. Well, let me tell you a little story about today. Obviously, all of the 16 Six. players were in action this afternoon. Michael Van Gerwen first on. The last match of the afternoon was Peter Wright against Ross Smith. When Ross Smith left the hotel, Michael Van Gogh was already Ooh, back in it, having won his first seven. match. Like you said, he's only been on stage for about 20-odd minutes. Yeah, nine minutes, minutes is two seconds it took to beat Jermaine Watermana. Price can't pin the ton 70 checkout, so Van Gogh is Ooh, looking at 88. Could end up on the bull again. Not this time, double seven. Yeah, Same outcome. He's got to sting that after the one, two, seven on the ball in the first leg. That clinical 88 on double seven. Just one, pressing home that advantage with real accuracy. Billy is throwing very well. And of course, over the last couple of weeks, he, people have accused him of not playing his best stuff. He has looked a little languid, maybe, but. He looks a bit more purposeful this weekend. But he likes to make statements, Michael Van Gerwen, and he did win the first Pro Tour event of the year. I'm sure he'd be pretty keen on winning the first Euro Tour event of the year just to mark the card of the rest of the field. He's already said quite a few occasions that he wants to win 50 of these things, right? Well, he's more than halfway there. He's got 28. I'm going to think that the immediate goal is not just to get to 29, but to get to 30 and then start planning on getting to 40. 92. New Iguan, 94. Price has time on his side here. Doesn't have to get fiddly here. Excellent. Double eight. 17. Only just to the left. He looks frustrated, but no need to feel frustrated there, really, because they were three very well thrown darts. 56. Yeah, and he would have 16. probably expected to be under more pressure. Van Gerwen having a rare trebleless turn. I don't usually find him down this area of the board, yeah, but that doesn't yeah. matter because he's got his first leg on the board. Did you notice what Michael did when Gerwin yeah. Price was looking at that double eight? Yeah, I think it was more to do with his own score without hitting a treble and the position he found himself in the leg but the socks were pulled up I wonder how many young players maybe in the JDC 60. system and kids who are aspiring to do it have started pulling their socks up in between throws well, it's the old 100. joke that has gone around about Michael Van Gogh as you'd think that with all the money that he's pocketed that he might be able to afford some better elasticated socks. Well, here's the thing, Murph. I haven't seen any proof that he wears socks. 
Ted Hank, you never wore socks. Oh, don't. I'm being serious. I'm giving on 266. We'll be looking at the 19s now. 134 to lead 132. Leaves his favourite finish. He has said that on a few occasions. That's probably got to do with his winning his first Premier League on that shot against Phil Taylor to win 10 8. Well, that time it started with 25, then he went down to 57, and then he hit the ball. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Because that bullseye was not fully visible. He could only see about maybe two thirds of it. The flight was shielding a good portion of the left hand side, but he didn't care. He seems to be taking a darting trip down memory lane this Sunday here in Leverkusen because Rob Cross finished off his match this afternoon exactly like he did for his world championship win against Phil Taylor. Now Michael Van Gogh repeated the Premier League winning finish from his first PL title. Yeah, that's a very good point, Murph. That 140 from Cross was backed up by a 162 approach as well. They may be the best six starts we've seen this championship, and that's saying something considering the quality we've had. We've just seen six starts perfectly shared between the pair here. See those two Tum Plus finishes. Let's not forget that MVG's other checkout was 88 on the ball. He has been perfect so far, and once again, hitting the ball, but this time in the middle of a leg. Yeah, it's a, it's a clever setup that, and Michael knows it because he's got an out here. On 136, 134, all those he wouldn't have. So here, he can go 60 ball. Really? <laughs> Nearly from Michael Van Gerwen. But now Price has the chance to claw back another leg, and he's got two darts at one of his favourite doubles. Van Gerwen might have been near perfect in the match, but Gerwen Price is still in it. I reckon a year ago, Price would have been obliterated in that leg. But he's a different beast now. And Gezi knows how to live with the best. A big moment potentially there because Michael Van Gerwen missed the ball for a 4-1 lead. We've seen how tables can turn today. How much money I would have put on Van Gerwen getting that second treble 19 there. It was a perfect lie. He'd be disappointed not to get the 1-3-4. It's, it's turning into one of those matches, Chris, where you really do have to get two trebles. Or three. I've seen a whole array of big, big visits. 174s, 177s, 171s, 180s. Great game. Well, 94 is the shot he wants here to so move to clear once again and again the finishing absolutely sublime from Michael Van Gogh in four legs one all combination checkouts 88, 94, 127 and 132 as Gogh and Price man starts one, two and three in the treble 20 bed you've got to think that these guys are having a blast playing this game how can you not have fun playing this well 110 average Van Gogh when just under 110 Gezi Price yeah, it's a slow start to the evening session isn't it it's not good enough. And the crowd make their feelings known. Leaving 181 after six is not good enough. This sport is borderline ridiculous now. Well, it could be good enough to claw himself back into contention yet again, but it has been a case of clinging to the coattails of the world number one. It's been such a good game that sitting on 86 after nine is no guarantee that he's going to win this leg because he may need the bullseye van gerwen leaving 88 single 18 he might go for double it was high so it's bull 61. well dodge thrown one shot at a double might not be back and vg did this to open up a two-leg lead early in the match this would make it three 74. tight very tight indeed can't afford any mistakes. One for double 12. No mistake at all. He's keeping himself in there, Gezi Price. He's not going away. But vitally, Van Gerwen has that break of throw. But there's not a lot between them. Stats are phenomenal. And averaging 107 and 106, respectively. And there's only been three 180s. But there have been a lot of 
Shots just under that mark. Yeah, Van Gerwen no, with three in the 170 plus range, as you can see. But Price has Six. taken advantage. There were two different legs in which Van Gerwen could have pulled three clear. Mr. Dart of the ball and one at double seven. And Gerwen Price now just hoping that he can catch MVG in an off leg, which this could be. And it's all looking very different in a couple of minutes' time. Only 14 darters for Gezi Price. 62. Only 62 for Michael Van Gerwen, and Price has this leg in his grasp against the dart. Yeah, he doesn't like that second dart. It blocks. He's going to have to settle for a 170 shot. After that first dart, he was thinking 171 himself. He gets this 170. 58. Expect the volume to go up. Will he go for it? See if he gets the chance. We won't know, but he'd like to leave himself handy. 105. Should do. 92. Very near 65. Standard, leaving a 170 Van Gerwen. Well, he laughed, didn't he? He smiled. He hopes that Price can't pin tops or tens. Excellent game, game, this. Do not leave this. I don't care if the timer in your cooker says that the dinner's going to be ready in two minutes. Put it on keep warm because there are a maximum of three legs left in this and anybody could win it. Gezi Price has taken the game to Van Gerwen. He's stuck with him so well after Van Gerwen hit him with a kitchen sink. Well, anybody could win it, but Gerwin Price would have the darts in two of the last three legs. Does that make him favourite? It has to, especially with that 140 start. Can't afford to relent. No, Great last start. Things like that he needs to do. If he has a couple of dodgy darts to start a visit, if he can rescue the situation like what there, it becomes so important just to try and keep that lead and the darts. He'll be well aware that he's never beaten Michael Van Gerwen. There's not much that Price hasn't done yet in his still fairly fledgling no, career as a pro. Once again, MVG finding a way to leave 170, but Price is going to be much further down than that. Level 140. Disappointed with the tone. No bull shot for Van Gerwen. And only 59, so Price has got away with it. Six for tops for the lead. Just shy. Don't think he uttered a word there. I think it was just a noise of frustration. But this would be absolutely killer. 87. Going to one 20. Well then. The Welshman to lead for the first time. And he's now one leg away for beating the world number one for the first time. Maybe Van Gerwen thought he'd done enough to knock the stuffing out of Gezi Price in the middle of the game. Well, that is one tough torso to knock the stuffing out of. He fancies it now. Does Gezi, you can tell by his facial expression. Enough to knock the stuffing out of Gezi Price in the middle of the game. Well, that is one tough torso to knock the stuffing out of. He fancies it now. Does Gezi, you can tell by his facial expression. The response from Van Gerwen is impeccable. He needed that just to juice up his own challenge. But it's the fifth leg in the match where Van Gerwen has recorded a score of more than 170. Will it help him get to a fifth leg? You don't think he's going to need to do the bull 25 bull thing. Oh, he might. He might. He's going to have to go for it. He's been brilliant. He's thinking about it. Well, that is a fantastic return to that segment to leave himself on a usually simple two data. But nothing's quite as simple when you're playing a man you've never beaten before and he happens to be the best player in the world. Gonna leave his favourite, or is he? Single 15, gets that. Match dot. 
to beat MVG for the very first time. Now, can Van Gerwen apply the hard break shot? It's harder to hit when he's the man behind you because you imagine that he will hit and won't give you another chance. And he does not. Michael Van Gerwen makes it 15 straight wins against Gerwin Price, who is crestfallen at the table side stage. How do I beat him? 103 average isn't enough. A fantastic performance, a fantastic match, a fantastic start to the evening session. Gerwin Price came close, as close as he's ever been, but he still can't beat Michael Van Gerwen. Can anyone do that tonight?